you're watching 8-bit days a week and uh, I'm finally gonna try a non Neo Geo arcade title this time although we aren't going too far this is still a fighting game and this is from Capcom Vampire Savior 2 um, so this is the actual this is the one that became Darkstalkers 3 I'm gonna go ahead and choose Jeddah here I'm gonna go with Pyron is uh, there's actually it actually becomes confusing because there's also Vampire Hunter 2 and it looks almost like this game a lot like this game but they have uh, a few different characters so you never do get quite the complete roster in one title uh, until way later actually I'm not even sure myself but like the vampire collection on uh, is it PSP I think there's a uh, I'm not sure okay but I think there's a mode there that has everyone in one game in this in this version I mean it plays like uh, Darkstalkers 3 So you'll notice matches are Killer Instinct style. It's one long match. It doesn't end after knocking out a your opponent for um, for a round. I mean, there are no rounds actually. And if you've been playing Marvel vs. Capcom series, you'll see that um, a lot of the characters there you know, came from this game. And I'm sure you already know that. Felicia, Morgan of course. Sienko, those are the three in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And we have Anarchist. Uh, Morrigan again. And Felicia in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And Jeda and Morrigan are in Infinite. Ah! The previous um, vampire game actually featured uh, kind of like the traditional style of rounds. It's not like here where it goes about one long match. One long round, I mean. So I guess they were trying to differentiate themselves. this a bit more unique there is also uh, there's also an anime I honestly haven't watched that though all 
Alright, let's try... Anakaris. I always... say that incorrectly. Trying for the All right. If anybody played um, Puzzle Fighter, you'll remember there's uh, Donovan there. This is where he came from, this series at least. He first appeared in the second game though, Night Hunters. This is another series actually that often requested to receive like a revival. Too bad never happened yet. I guess for Capcom there isn't enough market to have to sustain a lot of uh, fighting games. Especially since uh, we're still busy with Street Fighter and sometimes they seem to be even struggling with that. So it's unfortunate. But this is definitely a series that's more like it's gone but not really forgotten. I mean, if uh, you remember uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite one of the reasons one of the reasons Capcom mentioned that why the X-Men were not around is because nobody remembers them really and that uh, everyone is about the Avengers these days but that's funny considering Darkstalkers is even older and would probably be less known than say the X-Men and yet, we did get a few Dark uh, Darkstalkers characters. So, it's one of the... I guess that's one of the few things that made Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite um, fail. Uh, because of uh, Capcom's responses like that. timing there. Alright.
so this game also came out for the PlayStation 1, I believe. Um, yeah, I never really tried it. Anyway, as with most arcade ports, I do believe it's better that you, if you're gonna play it on like the PlayStation Classic, it's better to have the arcade ROM loaded instead of the PS1 ISO or something. Well, simply because you get the actual arcade experience and um, you won't have any loading or something. Uh, the loading might be faster, but it's there's still an option for actual no loading at all. Oh, I actually pulled it off once. It's actually a very popular move, Midnight Bliss, because you get to see like a female version of the character that got hit. hard in previous uh, vampire games he starts off okay but suddenly gets crazy hard like he learns or something all right last stage now let's see if I can finish this This is voted probably one of the creepiest background stages in any fighting game. I can win this one then and there you go well uh, this has been a great time actually you're watching 8-bit days a week this is vampire savior 2 and um, yeah it's nice to have on your classic or PC whatever retro pie um, I guess it really depends on which characters you're looking for. You might need the other version, Vampire Hunter 2. I'll see if I can play that soon. And please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.